Hey guys, Jeremy here on the One Wild Tractor channel. Delphine and I just drove 13 hours to visit our friend Anderson in the Northern Cree community of Namaska in Northern Quebec. In this video, we're catching and cooking walleye and learning about netting and preparing sturgeon, cooking goose sigabon style and other adventures as well. So I hope you enjoy this trip as much as we did and follow along. Well, we're all packed up and awake early for our next adventure. Got a big road trip coming up. Here's some road trip snacks or meals actually. So this is the last nuisance raccoon that I got. It was a big one. Had it in the oven all night, roasting up. And I just poured off this whole jar of raccoon fat. So there was that much fat in the one raccoon Plus, it's still got lots of fat on it. Some of this I'm going to roast again. Take these strips of fat off and render them down. And the meat is so rich. It's super greasy. I only had a little bit. I'm already pretty full. Mind you, I also don't normally eat at 4.30 in the morning, so that might be part of it as well. This kind of looks like our last road trip. Except we've got nobody in the back with us. And we are going in the opposite direction this time. Yeah. So we've done a 10 hour drive south <laughs> for the 6th annual Great Lakes Foragers Gathering and now we are doing a 10 hour drive north to Namaska in northern Quebec to visit our friend Anderson and uh, it's a foraging weekend. We haven't done any foraging yet, we've just been driving for 4 hours. Um, and we've got another 6 to go I guess. Give you a little view at the front here. Oh yeah, Daphne wanted me to show you the fireweed. There'll be lots of it the further we go, I'm sure. So we're um, sort of on the edge, I guess, of the boreal forest and mixed mixed wood forest. Uh, and uh, there's a fireweed right there. sure what we're getting into this weekend there's a Namaska festival that's running right now but I think we're just going to Anderson's camp uh, we might also be going to some festival activities and we're not not too sure but there is going to be smoked sturgeon at the end of this trip so watch out for that there are going to be moose steaks we already ate a bunch of raccoon from a nuisance raccoon that I trapped um, we're gonna do some fishing Delphine might feed the fish, she might catch some fish, or we'll see what happens there. Uh, I'm definitely in it for the catching and not the feeding. We might even catch enough to bring some home. Yeah, we so brought an extra cooler. We brought an extra cooler for just such an occasion. And uh, maybe do a little bit of plant picking on the way, so uh, we'll see what happens. We just left Rouen Noranda in Quebec. Got to practice our Francais a little bit at the gas station and at the Canadian Tire. Um, and we're on our way to Amos, Quebec. And then from there we're on our way to Montagami, Quebec. And then from there we're on our way to Namaska. I'm not sure at which point it uh, stops being a paved highway and becomes a gravel road, uh, gravel highway. But a pretty good stretch of this drive is on gravel highway. Kind of have my fingers crossed that we find a fresh road killed moose somewhere along here. Yeah. Also, I would love to see a caribou because there are caribou in northern Quebec and I would love to see some ptarmigan. I haven't seen ptarmigan since I worked in the Northwest Territories in 2004 and Delphine's never seen one and Delphine's so actually... Hinterland, who's who? Oh, Hinterland. There's a flashback to the 80s. Um, you've never been up this highway before. No. What's the furthest north you've ever been? Okay, that's pretty far. That's also a 10 hour drive from North Bay. Well, we always took the train. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been this far north in Quebec, uh, but in Ontario I've been pretty far north and uh, in the Northwest Territories. I was up in the Arctic Circle uh, near Inuvik. 
for a summer. So we uh, just stopped in Matagami to fuel up. I think we're pretty close to the end of the uh, paved highway. We're getting onto the dirt road soon, so we have a couple more hours to go. And we picked up a non-resident Quebec fishing license for Delphine and also a copy of the uh, fishing regulations. Mais ils sont en français, they're in French. So I'll have to uh, practice my French, make sure that we're following the rules while we're fishing. And uh, we probably don't really want to watch us driving so much, so I'll probably check in when we um, arrive and meet Anderson. I will just say we're up, uh, it's very much the boreal forest up here, so we're into Sandy Jack Pine Flats, and then we're into the uh, Muskeg, which is like the sphagnum moss with the black spruce and the tamarack, uh, and very, very flat country. And there's not a lot of towns up here either. Not a lot of traffic on the road, so it's been a nice drive. And we're gonna keep carrying on. Delphine says I'm cursed. There's a flashback to uh, my recent trip with uh, Chris. Got a flat tire. And we are, well, there's lots of people around because they're doing construction, but we're pretty far down this road. I'm just going to film myself talking for a little bit while Delphine unloads the car and gets the spare tire. <laughs> we're going to get this done. Done. Strawberries? Nice. Uh, so unfortunately, it's a donut. It's not a full-size spare. And then when we tried to put the spare tire back underneath, it actually doesn't fit a full-size spare under there, which is a little bit ridiculous for a four-wheel drive SUV that it can't carry a full-size spare. So fingers crossed. The uh, one guy stopped to see if we needed help and uh, he said we've got nine kilometers to go and then we're back on the uh, pavement but then from there we've got another hundred kilometers to go to our turn off and then from there we have uh, another 50 on a gravel road so we're gonna have to go slow it's gonna slow us down uh, we'll see what happens off the uh, main highway and we're headed towards Damascus. We're going uphill, so all the forest changed. Now we're in just uh, jack pine mostly with a little bit of black spruce. Everything looks a little bit different than the uh, swampy stuff that we were driving through. And our next turn off is about 80 kilometers down this gravel road. So the donut's holding up all right. We made it. So Anderson met us at the road and we drove in together and uh, we're just gonna unload and get ready into his boat there. That's uh, a river a river portion of a big lake. So I'm not sure how far we have to boat from here, but looks like it's calm, so that's good. Okay, so we're on the water. That's yep. Anderson. Demiska Lake. Demiska Lake. Rover Trooper. And his brother Shannon. Delphi and I, we're riding bow. And uh, he said it's about 30 minutes to the camp. Took about it. Yeah. Cool. And the fish are just going to jump into the boat on the way there. Uh, <laughs> it could happen. Yeah. Anything's Anything's possible. Anything's possible. All right, here we go. So Anderson was explaining to me that this is the old town site of Namaska. Um, so this is where the town was traditionally before they uh, dammed the Rupert River and then that's when they moved the town to its current location. So there are a whole bunch of cabins here, dozens of them, and 
about half the town comes here for the festival, which is a week long. And uh, there's going to be all kinds of events. We're going to do some fishing, some hanging out, lots of wild food to be eaten. Uh, we're just going to pop up a tent here. Bobby's inflating her air mattress with her fancy air mattress assistant. Is it just called a bellows? Schnozzle. Schnozzle. schnozzle pump. Well, okay, a schnozzle pump. So you just uh, scoop a bunch of air in it, and then you uh, close the end and roll it. It saves you a lot of huffing and puffing. Is it just like three of them fills uh, each side, or? Yeah. Yeah, it goes pretty quick. It's handy. I think that came from my beard. Should have got a picture of those walleye when they were looking so big. Yeah, we'll get some tomorrow. Still big fillets. Yeah. Nice. Boneless? Yeah. Duffy's making her first feather sticks. And we're just chopping up some kindling. There's lots of firewood here. So we're going to get a fire going. And the plan is to cook some moose steaks. Or paper or little twigs. Chase the mosquitoes away. Moose ribeye steaks here. I'm just gonna slice it up. Oh yeah. Cook it uh, by the fire. Looks nice and tender. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be all right. Yeah. Should be good, man. We're good. Yeah. Thick steaks. Oh yeah. Why not? It's like bacon on the side. Look. Nicely marbled. Uh huh. It's a cow. Cow steak. Cow meat. Yum. Cow moose, I mean, yeah. Okay, I'll go help build up that fire. Yeah, man. We can burn off those girls. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Couple times on the way up. Maybe you'll still wait. Okay. I'm gonna see you. Yeah. Because I only have three of them in the car. Okay. I'm gonna go for you. Okay. That's the best? Yeah. Uh, How's that, Jeremy? Oh, it looks pretty good to me. There's some sirloin sticks. I wish I knew the acoustic version. Ribeye sticks. I guess I can just place them to the wall. Feel like comfortably enough? Yeah. Alright, I think there's a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think my favorite record is probably Animal. Yeah, I, oh yeah. That was definitely much. Nice, we got uh, <laughs> I know, uh, moose meat on the fire. We got a Pink Floyd discussion going on. What's in this pan? Asparagus, Sorry. mushrooms, and uh, onions. Oh yeah, okay. okay.
again Relax I need some information Just the basic facts Show me where it is There is no Pardon me? Yeah. For you? No sticks, boys? No, not for us. Thanks. How's it going? Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe the tongues would be good for the sticks. I want to put some uh, spice on there. On some of them, okay, Jeremy? Yeah. But not for you, eh? No. Put some in here too. Nice. They make it make you a little too. That's all right, I can get it. How do you like your steak? Uh, do you prefer to get it? Medium-ish. <laughs> okay, let's move it uh, over here. Too faster. Thank you. No problem. Stick. Okay. Oh. Put this one over there. Oh, I understand. That's why I like to There we go. No problem, man. Everything's under control. Okay. Right? Just remember that one's got spice okay. on it. What? Uh, Just remember this one's got spice on it. Right? Yeah, uh, this one, I'll move it over there. This one doesn't. Right? So these ones got spice, except for these. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I caught it in the light there. So we just have a plate of meat. Not supper. No spice. That's awesome. Medium. No spice. Still a bit bloody. All right. So we're going to eat and then, uh, then we might fall asleep. Or smoke a cigar. That all looks really good. Yeah, we could do that and then fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. We were up pretty early, 6.30 I think. Um, people are starting to wake up. Now it's a little bit later. Everybody's on vacation because it's festival week. so. Just uh, gonna kill a little bit of time and try fishing off the dock. See if we catch a pike. It's pretty shallow at uh, this part here, but I'm pretty happy there's some blue sky over behind us here, which I think is coming this way. So we'll be pretty excited if we get a little bit of sunshine. We're gonna go fishing in Anderson's boat. And then, sounds like we're gonna meet up with a guy who's checking some sturgeon nets. So we might get to see some fresh caught sturgeon. And uh, they cut them up. And there's lots of little fish smoke houses here. So they've got them on drying racks and then they'll smoke them out of fire. I'll try and get some footage of that as well. So we're off to the boat. We're off. Pretty hard to edit me out, I would assume. <laughs> I could. So Anderson's driving, going fishing.
fishing. Nathan's here from McGill University. He has an interest in sturgeon and there's lots of sturgeon netting going on right now. Dolphins in the bow. Bowing in the bow. And they're after walleye. Okay, so I'm using the suggested rig, which is a bottom mount sir. It's called a worm artist. Where's our players now? Hey. Uh, oh, walleye! Delphi's got the second fish. He's being all sneaky like normal. Pull it up, uh, so it'll be in a, there you go. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. walleye. She doesn't know. She's keeping us all in suspense. No, I don't. Oh. Delphi's third one. A nice one. Nice walleye. Nice. Yeah. That's a, that's a really yellow one. And I still have that same worm. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, you're doing the opposite of feeding the fish this time, eh? Yeah, that's all. Awesome. You're making the fish feed you. Uh, one on top. Catch. Yay! My second one. I don't think I'm gonna catch up to Delphi. Yes, you will. You think so? Sure. But I'll also catch another one, so maybe not. Yeah. So I guess technically I'm caught up to where you were one fish ago. Just barely hanging on. Fish!
That is laid down for 10 seconds. Big one. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, 
in the warm. Yeah, we got rained on a little bit coming across and it's raining out there now. So there's walleye boiling up there, wild rice boiling up here. We'll have a lunch break soon. Fish and rice. Is it good? Yeah. It's fish and rice. Yeah. And bear fat. It's good. You're just missing tea and berries. Mm. All that nice sturgeon fish. That looks good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Get a goose ready? Yeah. Yeah. Ready for? Fire. <laughs> oh, nothing in there. <laughs> what? <laughs> See a surprise. Surprise, surprise. I don't know if to keep this in there. Uh, food thingy. You want me to double check for you? I am so hungry. Okay. Oh, yeah, so much upstairs. Oh, so much upstairs. Okay. Let's put a little lung in there. Let's check it out. People wash them, but I'm just so clean or fine like this. Just to wipe. Yeah, just yeah. wipe it. Yeah. Because then you get all the nutrients from the blood. You see? Mm hmm. Check one. Yeah, this there. is good. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, that's good. All right. Now you take your pepper. Yeah. Wash my boots. Wait. Huh? 
Put a little foil. This is the only part you put the pepper in. Well, some people put it all over if they want. We're lucky they're all clean, otherwise it would take us hours. <laughs> yeah, we plucked a bunch of geese before. Oh, yeah. it's slow. Okay, now let me see here. Shape this is in. We'll be able to close it up. Hmm. Okay, we might have to. I have to cut the neck off a bit. Yeah, I need the neck a little too long. Yeah, do it for you. Yeah. Did you put it? Let's uh, get it out of the one. Okay, pass me a. This is okay. This is really tough, you know. You stuck it into the skin. I think that's how. What's next time? It's my grandson then though. Don't be able to go get up soon. That's my aunt and she's trying to go for. Soup for the little bit. I can soup as you mean. I have the smile we're not for. It's the same as not. Wait, let me throw this out first. Kind of in my way. Yeah, excuse me. That's how it's called, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Okay, yours is, okay. You have to do it. You were right. You have to do yours the other way. Because it's cut differently. You start here and you kind of weave it through to the end. Okay. Yeah. It's okay, it's not going to happen. Is that it? I'm not sure. 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 I get none of it. Okay, now you can, once you, it's better if you hold it kind of like this. If you can. And then, yeah. Oh, I got it here. That's why. Da. One more. We used to. That should be. Okay. Yeah, this should be. That's what you're saying. Because means be careful. There you go. You got it. This has to Okay, that's fine. Put it on its side. Yeah. And we use this one. start from the top. You do the same thing. Just like that. Take the shoelace. Yeah, you can do it like that. I don't mind this way. Oh, that's one thing. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Daddy, Why don't you put this? Hey? Spices. Why don't you? Why don't you put this? Oh, sorry. Table it is. Out. Why 
Okay, turn it that other way. Yeah. I'm gonna stream it. Just hide it in the middle somewhere. So why, man? <laughs> <laughs> Must be a go come go scene. <laughs> 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 My mom always used to uh, collect uh, yeah, I mean, sheets of cardboard when we had trees back in the day. All right. Tell Kenya to come and eat. Now. Kenya, Kenya. When you see her, that's it. Okay, I'll use this one as well. Okay, so pinch it right about there. See where just the tip of the dark meat part? This is right there, yeah, like that. And then just stick it right through. Which one did I give you first? Okay, where's the other two? Okay, got my chair. Where's the other one? No, I just have one. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I think, I hope. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I think I might have given you the wrong one. Yeah, I did. Okay, where's, where's this one? Oh. Okay, yeah. Stick it right straight through. Watch it. Finger on the other side. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna have my glasses on my head. Okay. Got it? Kind of twi twist. Twist it or turn it while they're pushing it in, that helps sometimes. Okay. <laughs> okay, you'll get it. Sometimes you here, keep your towel so it doesn't slip. There. Yeah. Oh my, the stick is splitting. Hmm? Well, it is splitting, that's why I put it up. Put up. That's why it's not. Oh, this doesn't split too. What kind of wood are the sticks made of? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I know I asked the same question. Oh, yeah. I won this as a prize. Wait, 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 wait. See, it's good when you... Are you left-handed? <laughs> are you left-handed? No. Wait, hold on. There? there is. Yeah, what you doing? Oh well. So it's best if you go if you're Okay. Which way is yeah. easiest for you? This way? Okay. Not not too low, it has to be a little bit high here. I was playing like um, there you go. There you go. So like this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay, separate it a little bit. I'm soft. Okay. Yeah. And there you go. Put a little bit of salt. And we're ready 
just string it up the hook. I just need to get the fire. You get that, Nate? Get the fire now. <laughs> Are you going to remember how to do it? You can watch the video after. <laughs> yeah, I'll send it to you. It's all there. Send it to the table. All right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll leave them here. Okay. Cover them up. So the buggies don't get them. And we'll make the fire. Can you answer me, son? No. Okay, keep it going. You think so? Yeah, I have one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, change. Yeah, it's pretty low bar for. Four hours. 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 In the same distance again? Yeah, about, yeah. about. Okay. It will take a few centimeters. Hey, don't, don't touch those. Don't touch it. Let's go slowly. No, no, the other way, the other way. The other way. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll tie mine up first. Wait, wait. Uh, Nita, I got, I'm gonna need you to hold the stick and we're gonna tie it after. Don't get it. That's the nail left. <laughs> You should, you should put the board down. Your pants are gonna melt. Yeah, I need to see where it's around me. Yeah. Very good. You fall for it. Lower. Wait, wait. Sit closer this way. Closer this way. I, I use, oh, hold the string here. Yeah. Here okay. You always hold the string here. Otherwise, it will lose itself. Okay, Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Well, actually, you know what? Wait, I'll grab the knife. Yours is too long. Because my arm length is too long. <laughs> Oh, it's like this, right? Offside! Yeah. Yeah. Here, thank you. Mind. Oh, so yeah. Oh, 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 There we go. Right here. Mm -hmm. We watch it. Okay. We'll use that to tie the. Yeah. If we need it after. Okay. Can you tell me put some more wood on the fire, please? Put a lot more wood. Hey. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah.
example, uh, when they cook like Oxfire in the city or Wigeland too, we have this. Uh, Yeah, they are all cooked up. Holy crap! That's what I look like now. Almost oh, there. Me, me, me. Yeah, yeah. That's what I look like. Yeah. Lantern just left the window. You don't need the string. No. No, you know, I don't need the string. It's okay, Lilian. We shot so. Hmm. Gigi, let me know you're gonna fall over. Imagine that there's hot food here too. Just. Uh, where do you want me to put your? Uh, just leave them there. Yeah, leave them. Work. 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 I think it's gonna come on now. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so, I wish I had a flatter place to do it. You should be able to do this before to get all the cuts. Really? Yeah. Is this just the. Uh, people like to eat that. Yeah, I bet. Crispy, juicy. Same thing with this. Karen's got to do. When you get like sheep forks, knives, plates, napkins, cups. Okay, guys, Shabbat Shalom. Thank you. You already had two things. Hey. Still hot. I'm going to eat seven, but I want to show you a little bit. Hmm. How many are you? Hola. Are you okay? 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 Just get you a little bit of breakfast ready. Have some dandelion tea with maple syrup. We're all packed up and we're gonna head back pretty soon we still have to uh, well we have a couple stops that I may or may not film um, including 
looking for a replacement tire for Delphine's truck. Oh, Jer, we've I've got, got some, some in, in the bottom of my bucket. Okay. I'll dig them out. So Delphine caught her first fish this morning. Big grid. Good one. I... Yeah. We'll let him go. Throw yeah. her back, eh? Right? Yeah. Is that going to be big enough? I don't know. We shall see. Here we come on. Walleye! Good supper. Yeah. I'm gonna put some water in there. Thank you. Thank you. Reminds me of my ex. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Yeah. Oh, oh, I need the pliers this time. Okay. Love me. Love you. Oh, boy. Shoot himself off too, eh? What do you want to do? 
Oh, oh you can go back, hey, a little guy? Yeah. Okay, he looks okay. Oh, yeah, he's okay. And the rest of them, poking the wheels. Oh, yeah. Is it a big one, babe? I don't know, it's moving around a lot. Yes, we, uh, we all had a small line down there. We had a triple header, and then Anderson and I both all lost right. it. Hey. Hey. Awesome. Oh. One. Yeah. Keeper. Throw the same wool. Some worm stealers. <laughs> I got the bigger net. Do we have one? Oh, you brought it up to the uh, yeah. cabin. Let's see what it looks like. We just cut them in half and scoop them in two pieces. Oh, but it was, it's quite a, a fighter. Yeah. <coughs> We looked at the pike that they caught in the sturgeon net. Yeah. That was a big pike. Yeah, we got really big pike in this lake. 28 pounds on tank. Oh, yeah. Maybe bigger. Yeah, this one was probably 15 at least. Walleye. Yeah. There we go. Hey. Nice Nice walleye. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Little one. Oh, oh. oh. Hey. And stole my worm again. I want a snack or one to let go? Uh, it's up to you. You want to keep it? Oh, let's keep it. No, no, it's not bad. Okay. Into the swimming pool. <laughs> You're getting that fish big time today, eh? Get my hook out, don't bite. The barb is there we go. That's fun. Oh. So we've got what eight? I just got the last one for Nine? the bucket. Nine? Yeah. Oh yeah. So we'll be able to take home our limit and we've got some for Anderson's mom. Now we're gonna head into town and gas up, tire up and uh, buy some bags of chips. Okay. <laughs> 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 you want to tell that joke again? <laughs> <laughs> I said tire, tie who up. <laughs> and uh, head home. So kind of hoping we don't have any other adventures or mishaps on the way home. So this might be a sign off for the video. Um, but I might add. Yeah. Oh yeah, we could We'll finish with some fish cooking and that'll be a wrap on our adventure. Catch and cook. We should do a little update. Um, we're back in Metogamy and we were able to buy a winter tire from a guy in Damascus and then uh, get them to put it on Delphi's rim in, in Damascus. So we've come back uh, on that winter tire. So we did, we figured 250 kilometers on gravel roads on the donut going up there. And then we've come uh, 300 and something kilometers back on this winter tire and we've got another 
bunch to go. It's a uh, 978 kilometers one way this trip. Also, as you leave Metogamy, there's uh, some interesting information signs. I'll show you guys the warning you get as you uh, come up, up the road. Right there. Route Isolé sur 75 kilometres. So it's uh, just warning you that it's an isolated road for 375 kilometres. That's the nearest gas station, basically, is 375 kilometres down the road. And uh, there's a map there, too. Oops, back that out a bit. There's a map. So we're looking forward to uh, getting some gas, having a little bite to eat. It's past seven o'clock and we still have a long ways to go. And uh, we're gonna cook some fish when we get home. Maybe not tonight, but for breakfast. It's just after midnight and uh, just spotted this deer. A moose calf. A moose calf creamed on the road. So we're going to have a little look at it and see uh, if there's a good hind quarter on it. But it's pretty mangled, but I just did a quick slice and took off the one front shoulder. The other front shoulder, there's all broken bone chips in it, and the two hind quarters are just mushy. So uh, we're going to grab that. The frozen walleye are in the freezer. I filleted two of them for my parents out of the fresh ones and then there are three, one, two, three left in here. This is for our supper tonight so I'm going to get those ready. And um, that moose calf leg was in perfect condition so I cut it into a blade, a shoulder and a shank and it is also in the freezer. So nothing fancy here, just walleye on a pan. And I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 and just keep a close eye on them. That's all there is to it. I did turn it up to 400 just to speed things up a little bit, but seems to be cooked, just simple. And we're just going to, these guys still have their scales on, so we're going to peel the skin off and just eat all that delicious meat and eyeballs and, uh, and then we can use the bones for fish, fish stock. We have a cake, I already started in on it but there's a cake and fat and syrup for our dessert and uh, that's how some of these walleye are gonna finish up with us. There's still more of them in the freezer so um, how many more of them? 11 more in the freezer so there'll be more walleye cooking on this channel in the future. Um, I'm not going to show the eating part, we're just going to enjoy this meal. We've got, Delphine's got to run to work and i got to go do some other things and we're going to wrap it up there. Oh, yeah.